nice thing that I do want to point out is that even if you're thinking of like, oh, darn, I had to probably set up this rule as well. And you're thinking of that way after the fact, that's fine. Like you can make these changes once the sync is already running. So imagine you're just letting the sync run in the default vanilla setup because this, this, you get these two rules uh, mm -hmm. for free. That's fine. You would be getting that bare bones integration. Contacts mm -hmm. would be moving in, contacts would be moving out. And if then after a month or so you're saying, well, in fact, we've been starting to ask this question on the MailChimp form about whether they want to buy or sell. You know what? Go in, go into pricing and you can apply that rule and it will kind of pick it up and even correct retroactively. It's like mm -hmm. this living and breathing thing. That's actually different from say uh, something like Zapier, right? Where you constantly have to be thinking of, okay, I'm procedurally setting up this scenario where if this happens, then this should happen. So whatever has happened in the past, well, yeah, the integration was running differently back then. No, this is really saying if a lead's in Chime and it acts or behaves this way, this is what they should look like in MailChimp and vice versa. Mm -hmm. 